Yep. My name is Wayne Davis and I'm the Sheriff of Henry County. And I'd like to thank our media partners for coming out to be with us on such short notice this evening. I have with me Mr. Andrew Nestor, the Henry County Commonwealth's Attorney. <clears throat> I'll tell you what brought us here today. When I was sworn in as Sheriff just days ago, I made a commitment to this community to be transparent in our processes. And I also promised that I would hold accountable any deputy who failed the community's trust. With that being said, just 24 hours after becoming the Sheriff of Henry County, a concerning use of force incident took place inside the Henry County Adult Detention Center. <clears throat> On July the 1st, a subject was arrested and brought into the Henry County Adult Detention Center for being drunk in public. Upon entering the detention center, he was intoxicated and very uncooperative. A short time later, that subject refused to change into his issued jail uniform. That situation ultimately escalated and resulted in the Henry County deputies using force on the subject. As a result, the subject was injured. He was transported to Sova Health Martinsville, where he was treated for his injuries and released. After reviewing this incident, I immediately contacted the Virginia State Police and I asked them to please come in and conduct an independent review of this incident. We have turned over everything to the Virginia State Police and they have begun their investigation into the incident. I'm also working with Mr. Nestor and his office on resolving this. I requested this investigation be done in an effort to be transparent and fair to this community and we will fully cooperate with it. In addition, we are conducting a full internal affairs review of the situation. At this time, I have suspended four Henry County deputies without pay pending the outcome of this investigation. This is an ongoing state police investigation and I am limited in what I can say about it as, as is Mr. Nestor here with me. <clears throat> at this time, I will take questions one at a time in an orderly fashion and I will attempt to answer them However, we need to recall this is an ongoing investigation by the Virginia State Police and we are limited in what we can say about it at this time. Any questions? Can you reveal the name? Uh, we will not release any identities at this time. Sheriff, the, um, it's unprecedented that your office had to hire as many new deputies as it had to for this jail. There's been one incident that resulted in the death of a prisoner, uh, and now this incident. Can you speak to, I know they're qualified in terms of credentials, but they don't have the experience. What do you say to that? So when we undertook the project to get the new adult detention center off the ground, it was unprecedented to hire just shy of 100 new employees at one time. In today's workforce, it's difficult to get qualified employees, much less that many at one time. And some of the things that occurred was the minimum hiring age was reduced from 21 to 19 years of age. But I can say effective today that we will take the minimum hiring age back to 21 years old. So you do think inexperience may have played a factor in what occurred in this incident? I don't want to comment on it. I'll let the findings of the state police investigation stand on their own. <clears throat> Anything else that you're doing to address what may be perceived as a problem regarding inexperience? Yes. Uh, previous to this incident, my team and I went to work to identify areas that needed to be improved upon, and we have a list of those that we're working on. But unfortunately, as I said, this took place 24 hours into being sheriff. So it takes time to get new strategies and new things into place. And there just was not time before this incident, unfortunately, took place. But we have worked on areas that need to be improved upon, and we will be doing so. When did you find out about it? When did I find out about it? Mm -hmm. I found out about it about 24 hours ago myself, Charles. Mm -hmm. I found out about it yesterday. You think? Uh when did the incident happen? July 1st. Right. So the, early, the early morning hours of July the 2nd. Right. Why did it take so long to find out? 
That's part of the internal affairs review. Okay. What was the nature of the injuries? Uh, he was treated and released for his injuries. So. You can't elaborate more on any of that, like if it's head trauma or where the injuries were? No, we wouldn't elaborate any further on that. Why is the Commonwealth attorney here? Because he's going to have to... He is part of this investigation. We are fully transparent. We are, we'll seek the entire truth, and he is part of this investigation. Right. Do you think this would have happened if it was any other sheriff here? I mean, do you think... Well, that's an interesting question, but uh, the answer is no. I don't think it would have mattered who is the sheriff. Unfortunately, these incidents take place from time to time across this entire country. And no chief or no sheriff can be there with their officers 24 hours a day to oversee every process. Charles, I think what is important is how these incidents are handled after they take place and, and how transparent you are with the community. Is there any indication of timeline of the investigation, how long it might take? Uh, that's totally up to the Virginia State Police, and unfortunately they couldn't make it on short notice this evening. I mean, you know your opponent, uh, Dale Mills, has been talking about that jail. It's pretty much the only thing he's really focused on. You know, he talks about being too expensive, that it was, you know, you know that that, uh, it, it, that it's supposed to be having more more inmates. You, you know, I mean, this is going to be a, a big deal. Well, the adult detention center is a work in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I've, I've been sheriff seven days now. And so uh, I have a list of things my team and I went to work to identify, and we will be working on those to make improvements. Can you tell us what they are tonight, just briefly? Uh, we've, we spoke about them briefly. Let's just focus here today. One of those will be improving the uh, training of our employees. I had discussed previously a field training program will be implemented for all new supervisors. So they all do things the same way, and they understand the processes to try to alleviate any instances from happening. Now, you said that because it was so fast. The age of this person was? Uh, we did not release his age. But you did say you are going to change the? We will change the minimum hiring age moving forward. Is that because of this incident? It's not necessarily because of this incident, but it's one of the things that we determined need to be looked at again. Right. Is it protocol for the Virginia State Police to investigate things like this? I know we've talked about it before, and I, I'll be honest, I can't remember if that was the case or not. So moving forward, it will be the protocol of the Henry County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we will not investigate our own. We will be transparent to the community, and we'll ensure an independent, non-biased investigation takes place anytime there's an allegation of criminal wrongdoing of a Henry County Sheriff's Office employee. And that started under your leadership? Yes. Sheriff King, you mentioned force, obviously, is that, can you allude to, was any equipment used like on the individual or? Is, was it just hands? I mean, kind of, what can you tell us about that? Uh, we would not answer those questions right now. And then as far, it feels like a sticking point right now is the age thing. Do you know, if, is that a statewide <coughs> issue in terms of the hiring age, or is that something that we're, that is really just particular now to Henry County? Uh, I can't speak for other agencies. Can you focus a little bit on, the, you know, because when you do this job, you come in here to work on the, the, the incident that happened. And just to explain it to me one more time, I get a, everybody get a little bit better understanding. So just a general overview of what yeah. we talked about before. Yeah. Yes. Uh, on July 1st, the subject was arrested for being drunk in public. Uh, our patrol deputies responded to a call. Okay. He was drunk in public and he was placed under arrest. He was brought into the Henry County Adult Detention Center. Once he was in the detention center, he was obviously still intoxicated and uncooperative with the deputies inside the detention center. A short time later, that subject refused to change into the jail uniform out of his civilian clothes. After his refusal, the situation ultimately escalated and the deputies used force on him to try to get him to change into this uniform. That force did result in injuries he was transported by our staff to Sova Health Martinsville where he was treated and released for those injuries. W once it was brought to my attention, I immediately contacted the Virginia State Police. We asked for an independent investigation. Uh, the State Police and myself involved Mr. Nestor's office as well. And that's where we are now. We're fully cooperating with the State Police. Sheriff, do you know how many deputies you have there now that are under 21? I do not have that information. <laughs> 
percentage wise? Any any idea? Kelly? Roughly thirty percent. A third. That close to a third. That's an estimate. Okay. All right. I mean, could did they do it right or not? Did they do what? Right? I mean, could you? I mean, that you had the guy, you know, that wasn't being cooperative. I, I won't speculate on the whether this was done right or not. I'll let the findings of the state police investigation stand on their own. Uh, obviously, I was concerned about it. That's why I contacted the state police. I got you. But are they put on? Are they? What are you doing with the folks who are involved here? Are they getting paid still? Or are they no, as I said, there are four deputies who were involved in this incident okay. who were suspended without pay pending the outcome of this investigation. Okay. They were they were suspended quickly. And, well, is there any video of it? The, the entire, I'll say this, the entire adult detention center pretty much is on video and everything we have has been turned over to the Virginia State Police. Will that be public? Publicly? That will be up to the Virginia State Police and their timeline of investigation. Right. Now, I know during your, your, the other day you announced your new administration. Um, and is she is is she here tonight? I do have Captain Kelly Red with me here tonight. Can we get some comments from her? Uh, she'd rather not comment. Okay. Um, all right. Sheriff Davis, just kind of what do you tell your deputies? Obviously, I'm sure you guys deal with drunk people all the time, and so and I don't even want to say all the time, but what what are deputies advised to do when they are? dealing with somebody who is drunk and disorderly, especially throughout the entire process? It's not really so much what they're advised. We're prescribed by law and prescribed through DCJS trainers what we can and cannot do. And they, they are trained on that extensively. And so they know right from wrong. Um, I know you're limited, but the victim reached out to BCW 21 News and his words were beaten. Can you speak on why he would use such Words. I can't speak as to why he would classify it that way. Again, we'll let the Virginia State Police conduct their investigation and their findings will be accurate. At what time will you make a call on? A call as to what? Like, what's your opinion about this? Uh, when the State Police concludes their investigation. I would do nothing to taint that investigation. <clears throat> We'll go back to, I mean, because I've been covering your, you're involved in an election during all this process too. Um, do you think that this will become part of the, the talk and and so forth and during, you know, with your opponents and stuff? Uh, I would merely be speculating as that whether they choose to capitalize on it for political gain. That's just mere speculation. The facts of the incident are what they are. Right. Uh, we're transparent in our processes. We've asked for this investigation and we as a sheriff's officer are going to do the right thing. Thank you, sir. Will you advise the Virginia State Police? Uh, I, I guess this would be a question, uh, or you decided to put them on, on uh, leave without pay. Was, is that something that Virginia No, that was my choice. That is an internal matter, okay. and after the internal review, it was my decision to suspend four deputies without pay pending the outcome of the investigation. Is it the fact that it was a drunken public charge? I mean, that doesn't seem like that serious of a charge. Um, it's class four misdemeanor, which is a low level misdemeanor charge. So they're back out on the street? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Is there a procedure on dealing with somebody without dealing? I mean, if they get unruly, you got to at least pin them down, right? I'm just trying to. Well, we always try to de escalate every situation. Right. And, and avoid any use of force at all costs. Is there a way to do that? Sometimes you have to, right? So most of our deputies, once they're trained, they go through de-escalation training and then they learn how to talk to people and verbalize with them to avoid these conflicts. That's not always the case. Sometimes conflicts are unavoidable and, and use of force is necessary at times. And that's kind of like getting to be a gray area with the public and so forth. Do you, get, do you see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, but everything in this line of work is a split second judgment call. These deputies are called upon to make split-second decisions under pressure day in, day out. Is this tough, being the first week, I mean, having to deal with all this? Sure, it's tough. Uh, being the sheriff of a county this size, with this many employees, it's a tough job. But did you 
You signed up for it, right? I asked for it, and we're going to get it done, and we're going to get it done to the best of our ability. Would the I know it depends on the investigation findings, but would the uh, individuals, the law enforcement officers involved, would they have to do some type of retraining, or what would you? We will wait and see the outcome of the state police investigation and ultimately the determination of Mr. Nestor's office before we speculate about what the internal outcome may be. And just to confirm, four deputies are on leave without pay right now, but only one was the actual deputy like committing the force onto this person. Is that correct? It's best to say that the four deputies that are suspended without pay were all involved at some level with the incident. Are all four under the age of 21? Uh, no. No, sir. Are you able to say how many are? I have no earthly clue. We'd have to look at their personnel records. I don't know their birth dates right off. Are they, are they all rookies? No. Okay. All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you all for coming out. Appreciate it.